Baking, 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 baking. Hello, my bakers. Welcome to Le Bon Baker. I'm Nicole, and today it's time to get excited because we're going to be making the best zucchini slice. I absolutely love this recipe because it's extra tasty and delicious. It's really healthy. It's actually just loaded full of vegetables, and you can whip it up in no time using some of the ingredients that you've got in your fridge. So let's get baking. This recipe makes a really awesome lunchbox snack, so you can make it ahead of time. Uh, and I like to have my zucchini slice on the go, so if, for breakfast or a really nice light lunch with salad. As always, go get your oven on. It needs to be 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Go and grab yourself a baking tin. I've got a square one here, but you could use rectangle or really whatever you've got at home that's gonna do the trick. And then you're also going to need a wooden spoon, a whisk, and a large bowl. For the ingredients, we've got some grated zucchini and some carrot. We've got some ham, some grated cheddar cheese, and we've also got some spinach. Over here, we've got some eggs, some self-raising flour, some oil, mixed herbs, and then some salt and pepper as well. I will leave all of the ingredients in the description below and if you want the full recipe, just head to lebombaker.com. With these ingredients, the great thing about zucchini slice is that you can sub things in and out. So if you don't like carrot, put in sweet potato instead. Or if you need to use up something else in your fridge, just sub out that quantity for whatever you'd like to use instead. You can also make this recipe vegetarian. All you need to do is leave out the ham. So grab your big bowl and then pour in your eggs and give them a little whisk. Then we can start adding the other ingredients. Add in all of the veg, the ham and the cheese. So just drop this into the egg mixture. And goes the ham and then for the cheese, you can put about three quarters in and I'm just going to leave a little bit to sprinkle on the top at the very end. Go ahead and add your oil and your mixed herbs into the mixture and then we're going to mix it all up. So with your wooden spoon, just combine all of the ingredients and um, we'll make sure it's well mixed before we add our flour at the end. So the veggie mixture looks great and now it's time to add in our flour and give it a mix until it's nice and smooth and well combined. As you can see here, it is just packed full of colour and veg. It's going to be so delicious. So now that the flour is added all through and it's all well mixed, it looks great. We're just going to add it to our tin here uh, and then sprinkle with cheese, give it a little bit of salt and pepper as well and then it'll be ready to bake. Just in case you were wondering about my cake tin here, I have just lined it ever so slightly um, with some parchment paper. So firstly, I just grease the sides of the tin and then pop down my parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, it's absolutely fine as well. You could just lightly coat it with butter or oil. I just like using parchment paper because it just makes it easier at the end to transfer from the baking tin to whatever plate or presentation you're going to do. Okay, so into the tin we go. So into the oven it goes. It's gonna take about 30 minutes, but really just monitor yours and you wanna bring it out of the oven when the cheese 
is nice and crispy on top and it's cooked all the way through. Yum! Looks awesome. The cheese is nice and crispy and golden on top and I can tell it's all cooked through because it bounces back. So we are ready. So I'm just gonna let mine cool for a little while and let it rest for a little bit. This is perfect to cut up into little squares for lunch boxes, but I'm gonna have mine with some salad for lunch. Guys, if you like this recipe, make sure you check out my gourmet savory muffins. They've got semi-dried tomato, pesto, cheese. They are absolutely amazing. Watch it. I'll leave the link in the description below. While you are waiting for your slice to cool down, make sure if you like this video, you hit that subscribe button and give me the thumbs up. I'm just going to garnish mine with a little bit of spring onion, some tomatoes and cucumber. Looks like it's time for lunch. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. But first, I really just wanted to say thank you so much for being here today with me in the kitchen. If there's any recipes that you want to know how to learn, make sure you leave me a comment and I'll see you back here next week. Delicious. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Just wait a sec. Just wait. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. Okay.